Native Alaskan American and half Inuit. He was raised as a shaman, and they say he has supernatural powers. During the Cold War, he trained in Russia with the Bimbo, the Soviet Special Forces. In 1993, he was demoted by President Yeltsin following his coup d'etat. So he fled the country and became a mercenary. After that, he joined those rental war bastards at Outer Heaven, Inc. He stayed there until he joined us in Foxhound, thanks to a strong recommendation from Revolver Ocelot. That cannon he's holding is a 20mm Vulcan gun. You usually see them mounted on fighter planes. You can't take him on in a firefight. He'll make mincemeat of you. He's not just strong, Snake. He's a graduate emeritus from Alaska University, so he's a quick thinker, too. In any case, you better not try to attack him from the front. Normal weapons are no match for his 20mm Vulcan. Try to attack him from the sides or behind. subjects down to the blood. So he drained the chief's blood and took it into himself. 
But he wasn't able to deceive the Angel of Death. The Angel of Death? But why go to so much trouble? Why impersonate the Chief? <laughs> that is the end of my hint. You must solve the rest of the riddle yourself. Snake, in the natural world, there's no such thing as boundless slaughter. There's always an end to it. But you are different. What are you trying to say? The path you walk on has no end. Each step you take is paved with the corpses of your enemies. Their souls will haunt you forever. You shall have no peace. Hear me, Snake. My spirit will be watching. Snake, it's me, Master. It's about Naomi. Turn your monitor off. What about Naomi? <sighs> Colonel, is Naomi there? No, she's away. She's taking a short nap. Hmm. So what is this about Naomi? Okay, maybe we'd better let the Colonel hear this too. Yeah, go on, Master. Well, basically, Dr. Naomi Hunter is not Dr. Naomi Hunter at all. What? I thought her story of her background sounded kind of fishy, so I checked it out. And? There is an actual Dr. Naomi Hunter, or I should say, there was one. But she's not the woman we know. The real Naomi Hunter disappeared somewhere in the Middle East. Our Naomi must have somehow obtained her identification papers. So then who is she really? She must be some kind of... spy. A spy? Yes. Maybe she's been sent to sabotage this operation. Are you saying she's with the terrorists? I don't want to believe it either, but she is working for Foxhound. So you think she had a part in the uprising? Or she could be working with some different group altogether. Different group? It couldn't be. Place her under arrest. What? She's betrayed us. She needs to be arrested and interrogated to find out who she's with. If she's one of their spies, then we're in big trouble. What do you mean? Ah, uh, nothing. Have you let her in on some kind of vital secret or something? Does this have anything to do with the mysterious deaths of the DARPA chief and the arms tech president? I... I have no idea. Anyway, we cannot allow her to participate any further in this mission. Wait, wait a minute. Without her, we can't complete this mission. I knew it. You're hiding something. Give me some time. I'll try to get it out of her. Hurry, then. We've got to figure out who she is and what she's doing here. I understand. Snake, give me some time. I don't have any time left for you. It's me! What's wrong? Did you find a good place to hide? Yeah, thanks to the stealth gear. It looks like they've finished getting Metal Gear ready. How do you know that? I overheard them talking. Where are you now? Right in front of Metal Gear, but it's strange. What is? There's nobody here. No guards, nobody patrolling. It's too quiet. Maybe because they're all ready. They said they even input the PAL codes. What should I do? All we can do is use the override system that President Baker told you about. But I've only got one of the three keys. And besides that, like Ocelot said, there's some trick to using the keys. Leave it to me. You got some kind of plan? Well, I'm in the computer room right now. I'm trying to access Baker's private files. Baker's files? Don't you need a password? Of course, but there are ways. Are you a hacker? Yep, that describes me pretty well. Does it look like you can get in? I don't know yet. I'll give it a try. I'm counting on you. Snake, it's me again. How's it going? Uh, not bad. I just got past his third security level. He was a pretty careful guy. Do you think you'll break in soon? I never met a system I couldn't bust into. 
Okay, keep trying. Snake, I did it! You got past security? Bingo! Great, so what do you got? I accessed the confidential Metal Gear file. So what about the PAL override system that Baker talked about? I haven't found it yet. That's what I need to know. But Snake, I found something else. What? The secret behind the new nuclear weapon. Just as I thought, the nuclear warhead is designed to be fired from the railgun like a projectile. It doesn't use fuel, so it isn't considered a missile. That way it can get around all sorts of international treaties. Pretty sneaky. Yes, but effective. And that's not even the scariest thing about this weapon. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. It's a stealth weapon. You mean it won't show up on radar? Yeah. The truth is, they've been working on a stealth missile since the late 70s. Why weren't they able to develop one until now? Because of the missile rocket propulsion system. It would be picked up by enemy satellites. Oh yeah, that makes sense. But unlike a missile, the railgun doesn't burn any propellant, so it can't be detected by any current ballistic missile detection systems. An invisible nuclear warhead. Totally impossible to intercept. And on top of that, it's got a surface-piercing warhead designed to penetrate hardened underground bases. Yeah, we learned that lesson in the Gulf War. This thing could mean the end of the world! It's the ultimate weapon. And from a political point of view, it avoids the problem of nuclear reduction and nuclear inspections. Colonel, is this true? Are you listening? I'm listening. If word of this got out, it could delay the signing of the START III Treaty and cause a huge international incident. Yeah, it would be nasty. The United States would be denounced by the UN. It could even bring the President down. Did you know this, Colonel? I'm sorry. You've changed, Colonel. I won't make any excuses. Snake, listen to me. This new nuclear weapon, it's never actually been tested, only simulated. You mean they ran a computer model? Yeah, that's why they were conducting this exercise. They needed to get actual experimental data to back up the simulation. What were the results of the exercise? It looks like it went better than they hoped for, but I can't find the data anywhere on this network. You'd think the data as important as that would be carefully recorded. It was. President Baker gave me an optical disk with all of the test data. What? Do you still have it? No. Ocelot took it from me. Damn. The terrorists have replaced the dummy warhead with a real warhead. Once they input the detonation codes, they should be ready to launch. So you think they can do it? Well, the dummy warhead was designed to be identical to the real thing, so I think so. Did you find out how to override it yet? Not yet. It must be in a separate file. Right now I'm looking through all of Baker's personal files. We're counting on you. Snake! Did you find it? No. I haven't found out about the override system yet, but I found Baker's ulterior motive. He's just looking to get rich, isn't he? Well, that's part of it. Armstech is in much worse financial trouble than I thought. I know they lost their bid to make the next generation fighter jet. That plus the reduction in SDI spending. It looks like there was even some talk of a hostile takeover. Everything was riding on this project, I guess. And it looks like we were paying a lot of bribe money to the DARPA chief. Bribe money, huh? Yeah. And Baker was a big proponent of the nuclear deterrent theory. I see. So anyway, what about the override? Just give me a little bit longer. 